what generally business architecture stands for means if you want to understand a understand business requirements from the bs side we need to understand the business architecture which is something essentially required for a ba to understand it what is meant by business architecture business architecture details you the kind of policies and procedures which organization follow at the same time whatever the kind of vision strategies and tactics which they are implementing within the organization at the same time the kind of products and services which organization handles all these are comes under the business architecture point of view so if we being a business analyst when we are trying to understand the business requirements we need to understand the business requirements by considering the business architecture any organization any uh, any enterprise right so irrespective of the size of the organization understanding the business architecture is one of the key and prominent element so if you want to understand the business architecture first we need to know about the customers partners and competitors who are the customers for that particular uh, customer right so let's say for example let me take a retail uh, example okay the case study whichever we have taken let me confine to that we need to know about who are their customers means customers nothing but people who are coming to the store and buying the products offline right so this is where customers are next to whom they are partnering with and who are their competitors partners are different competitors are different competitors means people who are doing the same line of business in and around them now when it comes to the partner means maybe for example uh, they are having a partnership with some other business wherein to promote their business activities or by combining both the services on the same business line they are doing it okay because they are exchanging their strengths uh, one to another and they are moving further so in what way when we are trying to understand the business requirements in what way these are important is what something which being a business analyst we need to focus this is all something which we call it as micro level okay it's not a micro level understanding this is whatever i am talking about now it's all about micro level understanding so you need to know about their customers partners competitors etc next we must be knowing about the kind of policies rules and regulations which organization is following maybe organization to organization type of the organization size of the organization rules and regulations cap regulations and all everything may have some variation that we need to consider we need to understand the capabilities capabilities means what are their capabilities in context to the business they are managing followed by their vision strategies and tactics because every organization will have a vision mission business goals and objectives okay the same time strategy tactics <clears throat> these are all something which is required for any organization of course intact it will be there so we need to understand the business vision strategies and tactics even next organization you want to know from the context of retail store i can say next we need to know about the information about the organization so what organization consists of and what are their products and services uh, they are uh, serving to the customers because normally industries are categorized into two different parts one is manufacturing industry and service uh, second is service sector <clears throat> manufacturing industry means across the world any business you take there will there are only two one is manufacturing second is service manufacturing a good either it can be anything okay either you are developing an application because we are belongs to it normally manufacturing means product development we consider if you have taken non it even mobile is also considered as manufacturing vehicles right so everything so manufacturing is one sector second is service sector manufacturing sector manufacture a product okay it's a product what kind of product it is that's a different thing, right so product they manufacture for this product what services 
require for the customer and how are we going to provide the services comes under the service perspective. So sometimes when we are providing a solution being a business analyst, all the customers are not from the service sector. For example, if you take banking sector, insurance, healthcare, right? So these are all service-based, means these people are providing services for their customers. They are not selling anything, okay? They are having services. If you, for example, banks, financial services, they will sell, right? So if you want to loan, if you want any loan, they'll provide it to you. And if you want to uh, put money in your account, right? So by creating an account and all, they provide offering deposit services. And if you want to invest any on uh, any stocks or something like, they provide some portfolio management services and all. They'll be doing that. Insurance company, you know, insurances will be provided people upon request. Healthcare organizations, we know that. So these are all comes under the service sector point of. Even IT is also considered as services because we provide technical application support either in context to the development or maintenance will be taken care of. It all comes on the service point of view. Before that, manufacturing point of view, manufacturing a product. Right? So either it can be mobile, it can be cars, it can be of vehicles. Right? So it can be of anything. So this is all something which we see about the products and services. What are the products and services and all. So when we are going to provide Solutions for the customer, one should understand about which sector these people are belongs to. Is it a manufacturing or a service sector? Manufacturing sector, the best example, let's say, for example, you want to, one of the example, because I'm not taking all the example. For example, manufacturing industry want to improve the production capacity. Okay, by you, they want to reduce the wastage of time while they are manufacturing the product. That is their ultimate goal. Because that leads to controlling the manufacturing cost, so that whatever the cost they were uh, putting for a particular product into the market will be in a baseline, in a minimum manner, right? So because if production capacity is more, automatically pro cost of a product will also be higher. So organizations wants to control that because normally manufacturing organizations focus on the gross profit, not on the net profit. If you remember the difference, if you see any manufacturing industry, uh, of course, to what extent you have an idea, that's a different thing. But end of the day, manufacturing industry is always focused on the gross annual not in the net profits. Net profit percentage is very less to them. Any manufacturing industry, gross profit is more, means the turnover, they see more of turnover because more of turnover, even one or two or three or four or below than 10% margin will also be higher if you are talking about manufacturing industry. Second service industry, other way around. Of course, now and then situations are changing slightly, but service industry have more margin. You can see more margin. For example, IT services, margins are more. Nowadays, of course, due to the competition, uh, it was not the case as earlier, the beginning days. But usually, you see, service sector have more margins. That's the reason why software has more salaries because margins are more. But when it comes to the manufacturing, it was not the case. Manufacturing always, they focus on the turnover. They, they focus on the turnover. Again, this improving the turnover depending on multiple factors. Raw material cost, wherein manufacturing cost. When they are manufacturing, there are a lot of ancillary things which they have to be taken care of, like even power supply, right? So unit cost of electricity, labor cost, at the same time, whatever the raw material, to store the raw material, they require some warehouse and all. So they have to pay that cost. At the same time, they have to compete with the competitors. They have to uh, run by that. And sometimes they have to sell these products for credit, not for retail, not for cash and carry, right? Retail. Sometimes they have to uh, do this through credit, credit process, like wearing uh, on sales will happen on credit basis. Maybe they get it, they get the credit 
back, right? So maybe in another 30 days or 45 days. These are all something which are involved. In. So when manufacturing industry is always focusing from the production capacity and a simple note I'm trying to say. So if you see any kind of solutions are you are providing from the manufacturing industry, more or less something relating to that stuff will be there because improving the quality of the product while they're manufacturing or streamlining the sales pipeline operations which they are uh, which they are interacting with the customers and getting new customers and retaining their customers this is how generally they focus more on but when it comes to the service sector and all what quality services they are providing to the customer that is their focus is so when you are trying to understand the business requirements we need to understand the products and services also this is also one of the important element at the same time value streaming right so what are the different different value streaming uh, you are providing for your organization right so it can be a business value it can be a technical value it can be an operational value right so value of the uh, particular enterprise value streaming is something which we must be knowing at the same time what are the initiatives and projects uh, they were managing if any Right. So what are the metrics they are following to measure the performance of the organization or their sales? At the same time, what kind of decisions are going to take? This is all something which comes from the business architecture point of view. So why this much of detailing required for you being a BA? When you try to understand from the requirements from the business perspective, when I say it is a business requirement, we had to focus on the business architecture point of view. This is point number one. 